touched by tragedy is supporting a new bill designed to crack down on distracted driving in Rhode Island. The legislation would ban lap dogs from the front seat of vehicles. It's a move one mother who lost her daughter in a recent crash on Route 295 says will save lives. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is live in the newsroom with the interview. Yeah, though in this case, what caused the accident remains unclear. The mother believes that it, a new puppy may have distracted her daughter for just a split second. 17-year-old Shelby De Benedetto was a vibrant young woman, just a few weeks shy of our high school graduation, a few weeks shy from taking on the world as an adult. She was the greatest at making us laugh. She was so funny. She was so, you know, caring and sympathetic. Sympathy that spilled into her love for animals. The lady took her out of her jacket and put her on the ground, and we were like, oh, my God. <laughs> Her mother, Michelle, tells us about the day they took this little girl, Mia, home. A present for Shelby's upcoming graduation. A gift she was anxious to show off. She was on 295, driving to her father's home in Massachusetts, when distraction may have claimed her life. She always wore a seatbelt to the point that even when we got in the car with her, if I was just in the car with her alone, she would say, you're not wearing your seatbelt. Police say Shelby was not wearing a seatbelt on that night. Her parents strongly believe she may have taken it off, perhaps to calm her new puppy. You know, just that second distraction, you know, caused the accident. Mia was found in the roadway, sitting next to Shelby. Her mother hopes if passed, the proposed legislation will save lives. They cry and they whine, especially the little puppies, but they do calm down. You know, they, it's not really, you know, that horrible a thing to keep them in a carrier. Again, this proposed legislation would ban those lap dogs from the front seats of these vehicles. If anyone was caught with one, the proposal again would be an $85 fine for the first offense and a $100 fine for the second offense. Live in the newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.